The subject of this video is all about inspiration for your artwork. And since this is a digital art class, um, I mean, this isn't exclusive to digital art. This is just a long-term ongoing thing. Um, throughout the course, this is going to be just an ongoing thing that with every project, you are gonna put your inspiration uh, up with the project, which just makes sense because Showing kind of your thought process and your design process is always good. If you don't have uh, inspiration already, um, I would suggest spending some time on wikiart.org and you can look through artists, art movements, group genres, nationalities, whatever you want to. Um, you can pick, um, like, say you want to go by a nationality. Um, let's see here. Uh, Personally, I have Scottish descent, so I can go there. Um, there's not a lot here, but uh, I can begin there, you know. I can start to see what's on here and look at this stuff. You know, this is maybe not particularly inspiring to me personally, because this really doesn't have any flavor of Scotland in the work. Um, and we can go through and just start checking out what's uh what's out there and i think um getting lost in wiki art is really easy to do and, and it can be really fun as well um, and it's a good site to just kind of begin if you don't know where to begin um, as you encounter artists on instagram or you look through the credits of games that you like and you'll find people like that you enjoy and you can check out people like Raphael Lacoste who um, is, was art director of Assassin's Creed among a bunch of other things like that and um, you know you can check out kind of his stuff he's also got some tutorials out there you could look at um, and when you're looking at tutorials um, from especially from people that are advanced as, as he is or are professional artists you're potentially looking for just how they do things um, it may not be as foundational uh, as you'd like, and it may not be exactly what you need at that moment, but it can be useful because you'll see something or a way of thinking that you haven't thought of before, you know, and bookmarking their websites and checking back is, is always nice. So, you know, this is uh, Craig Mullen's website and, you know, what's cool about his is that, uh, he puts his sketches up. And so these tend to look pretty interesting because they're not, um, very finished. And you could you can kind of see how he's going about developing these images, and you know they're even to this of an unfinished level where there's just some texture, and everything's very loose, which I think is great. You know you have uh, people like Vincent Valdez, um, who does some interesting work. Uh, it's very done with a lot of charged imagery um, and people like Fabrice Montiero who create these really interesting photos like this um, just really cool imagery and interesting subjects um, interesting collaborations as well so once you start to find those inspirations you know you can save files and and pull them into a central area. Um, because I am a teacher, I have um, a large collection of just files of stuff by artists, all alphabetized by artists uh, for the most part. And, um, you know, I could probably be better about archiving with better titles, dimensions and dates and so on, but I've got to start on it. And, um, you know, there's so many more artists that I've come across recently that I need to add to this. Um, and I keep that because it doesn't necessarily inspire me, but because it inspires other people. Um, you know, I've just started a folder of inspiration stuff of artists that I kind of like um, and I think are interesting. Um, and they're not necessarily things that I have uh, made or 
and then and it's not going to wind up being all art you know i might like the color on something that i see somewhere around town or there might be a song that i like or a tv show you know i'll put notes about that in this folder um, i may want to take notes in my sketchbook and put scans from the sketchbook in here i'm not sure um you know these things need to grow organically uh, but you just need to need to be in the habit of collecting inspiration for the project that you're doing. Another great resource is to go and get some books. And I think that's really important because, you know, not everything's on the internet. And books of specific artists, especially like big catalogs, will have so much more than is what are, than what's available online. And um, that's really important because you're not just looking for, you know, hey, that looks cool, like, let me bring that into my work. You're also looking for, like, hey, how did that artist work? Like, what are the preparatory sketches? Like, did they work with anybody? Do they have multiple assistants? Are they doing stuff in, in a collaborative environment? And those are questions that books answer a little bit better than the internet. And you're a little less limited in your intake with books in a certain way because um, it, it allows you for continual discovery with, um, with a particular artist and finding things that are related. So it's like if you find you know, one cool image that you like on the internet, that's amazing. But in a book, you, know, you see that cool image that you like and you turn the page and there's other stuff that's related to it there. And you might see preparatory sketches, studies, things that uh, are by other artists that they relate to or are similar in some way. You might read an essay and find out more about these particular artists and that stuff's just not on the internet. And um, those are really important things to you as an artist because you're not just trying to find things that look cool. You're also trying to find stuff that helps you develop your way of working and helps you um, learn how to procedurally make art and continue to make art. And that's part of where I would begin. Um, so get out there, start collecting inspiration if you haven't already and start organizing it, putting it together and trying to see you know, what, what you like and what you wanna make.